The next morning, Percy dropped off mail sacks at Wellsworth Station. Diesel saw Percy. He oiled to a stop. Your best friend doesn't have time for you anymore, Percy. Percy felt sad. Diesel was right. You should find a new best friend. A friend who has time for you. A friend who listens to you. Diesel smiled at Percy. Percy wanted a friend. An idea popped in his pistons. Diesel, would you like to deliver the mail with me? I'd like to, Percy. But I have to go to the Diesel Works. My friends are waiting for me there. And Diesel clattered away. Diesel said his friends were waiting for him. My best friend Thomas isn't waiting for me anymore. No one's waiting for me. The next day, Percy was at the docks. He had to pick up a large parcel. Flynn the fire engine will arrive soon. This is his home. It is very important. Please deliver it safely to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Percy puffed proudly. Diesel clattered over. Flynn will be another new friend for Thomas. Then he'll have even less time for you. Percy wanted to tell Diesel that he was wrong, but he knew Diesel was right. Diesel clanked closer. Last night, I told my friend at the Diesel Works about you. He'd like you to visit. He told me to tell you that you'd be a very special visitor there. He'd have a lot of time for you. Thank you, Diesel. Are you sure? I'm very sure, Percy. Then, Diesel saw Thomas and Belle. He slid swiftly away. Hello, Percy. That looks like a very special special. Percy was happy his best friend had noticed him. It is, Thomas. It's Flynn's hose. Would you like to chuff with me to deliver it? I'm sorry, Percy. Belle and I are taking the children to the beach at Bluff's Cove. See you later, Percy. Percy felt sad. Then, Percy felt something quite different. Percy felt cross. Percy pulled up to a junction. The right track went to the rescue center. The left track led to the diesel works. Percy wished and whooshed. Diesel's words flew round his funnel. You'd be a very special visitor there. You'd be a very special visitor there. Diesels can be devious. Diesels can be devious. Percy wanted to feel special. He wanted someone to have a lot of time for him. Percy made a decision. I'll take the left track. I'll puff to the diesel works. Percy stopped. The diesel works was now right in front of him. His pistons pounded and his firebox flared. Thomas says no steamy should puff to the diesel works. But Thomas doesn't want to be with me, and Diesel's friend does. So, wheel turn by wheel turn, Percy puffed closer to the Diesel Works. Trembling tracks? I've never seen anything like this before. The buildings were old and odd. They were dark and dirty. It was nothing like the steamworks, but it was very exciting. <gasps> Percy felt special. 
I'm not just Percy who pulls the mail cars. I'm Percy the Brave. I'm Percy the Special. I'm Percy at the Diesel Works. A shape slid from the shadows. <gasps> Percy knew who it was. Diesel 10. Hello, Percy. Diesel said you might come to visit. What an honor. It's been a very long time. Hello. Diesel's been telling me all about you. You're a very special engine, Percy. Why don't you hop in? Percy whooshed and Percy wished. The words raced round and round his rods. No one called him a special engine. Thomas doesn't think I'm a special engine anymore. Or a special friend. But Diesel 10 does. So, wheel turn by wheel turn, Percy puffed into the diesel works. And into the shadow of Diesel 10. Percy gasped. The diesel works was greasy and grimy. It had strange smells and new noises. And it was full of diesels. Percy's wheels wobbled, but his boiler bubbled bravely. Hello. All the diesels stopped and stared at Percy. Welcome to the Diesel Works, Percy. Percy's eyes were wide with wonder. The Diesel Works is not grand and gleaming like your steam works, but we are happy to have you here. Thank you, Diesel 10. Then, suddenly from the shadows, with a bump and a bang, and a clatter and a clang, rattled two diesels Percy had never seen before. Hello, I'm Den. Uh, well, what I mean to say is... What Den means to say is that he's the boss and I help him a lot. I'm Dart. If you're broken, we fix you. But you're a steamy, so we won't fix you. <laughs> Dart giggled till his sides shook. <laughs> That's a joke, yeah? <laughs> I like jokes. Percy smiled. He wanted his new friends to like him. I like jokes too. Shall I tell you one? Go on then. Percy had never told a joke before. His funnel fluttered. What do you call a train that has a cold? Uh, I think. Uh, well, what I mean is... What he means is he doesn't know. Uh, a choo-choo train. <laughs> all the diesels laughed, and Diesel 10 laughed loudest of all. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Percy. Very funny. Come, tell us about yourself. We want to hear. Percy felt very special. I pull the mail cars. It's... A uh, very important job, Percy. Very important indeed. <gasps> I've forgotten all about my very important parcel. I have to deliver it to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. 